How much do you really know about Africa? You might be in for a few surprises today. Africa, the world's second largest continent, is an intricate tapestry of diverse histories, cultures, and landscapes. Its vast landmass encompasses 54 countries, each with its own unique character and story to tell. But beyond the popular narratives and stereotypes, there is a side of Africa that remains largely unknown to many. This is a place of remarkable contrasts, where tradition and modernity exist side by side. It's where ancient tribes still follow age-old customs, yet it's also home to some of the world's fastest growing economies. Africa is a continent of paradoxes, full of surprises that defy expectations. Let's start with Cape Verde, an island country in the Atlantic Ocean, where the number of foreigners outnumbers the actual Cape Verde citizens. Or consider Senegal, where 95% of the population are Muslims, yet there is no ancestral connection to the Middle East. And did you know that South Africa was the first country in the world to carry out a heart transplant? Even the world's most powerful monarchs have ties to Africa. Queen Elizabeth II, the former Queen of the United Kingdom, ascended to the throne while she was in Kenya. And speaking of monarchies, the King of Eswatini, formerly known as Swaziland, has a tradition of marrying a new wife every year. Africa's diversity is also reflected in its languages. Cameroon, for instance, was colonized by three European countries, Germany, France, and Britain. It's the only country in Africa where French and English are official languages. Every corner of Africa has a story to tell. From Ethiopia, the only African country that was never colonized by Europeans, to Botswana, which boasts the largest elephant population in the world and is also a leading diamond producer. These are just some of the lesser known aspects of Africa, a continent that continues to captivate and surprise those who venture beyond the surface. Prepare yourselves for an enlightening journey through the lesser known facts about Africa. Did you know that there are more foreigners in Cape Verde than actual Cape Verde citizens? Or that there are more Cape Verde citizens in Europe than in Cape Verde itself? Now that's an interesting start to our journey into Africa's unusual demographics, wouldn't you agree? This small island nation, Cape Verde, is a hub of cultural exchange, with a rich tapestry of people from all corners of the globe, outnumbering its own citizens. And as if this wasn't surprising enough, more Cape Verdeans actually live in Europe than in Cape Verde itself. Moving on, let's take a trip to the idyllic island of Seychelles. We all know Seychelles as a paradise for honeymooners and sunseekers, but did you know that this tropical haven has a population of only 98,000 people? That's less than the population of most small cities. Now let's set sail to Somalia, a country known for its long, winding coastline. But it's not the coastline we're interested in today. It's the fact that Somalia welcomed its first ATM only in 2014. It might seem late to many of us, but remember, every nation has its own pace of progress and development. Speaking of time, let's not forget Ethiopia. While we're moving through 2024, Ethiopians are living in the year 2014, according to the Ethiopian calendar. This unique calendar system is just another example of Africa's rich and diverse cultural heritage. Our journey leads us to Ghana, a country that has become a magnet for African Americans. More African Americans reside in Ghana than in any other African country, finding a sense of home and belonging in this West African nation. These surprising demographics are just some of the many unique aspects of Africa. Each country on this vast continent has its own story to tell, a story that often defies our preconceptions and broadens our understanding of what it means to be African. So let's continue to explore and appreciate the diversity and uniqueness of this extraordinary continent. Did you know that South Africa was the first country in the world to carry out a heart transplant? Yes, indeed. This groundbreaking medical procedure took place in December 1967, led by the renowned cardiac surgeon Dr. Christian Barnard. It's a testament to the innovation and scientific prowess that the continent has harbored throughout history. Speaking of history, let's take a moment to remember a significant event that took place on African soil, which had a profound impact on the British monarchy. While on a trip to Kenya, Queen Elizabeth II received the news of her father's passing, and consequently, her ascension to the throne. This pivotal moment in her life happened at the Treetops Hotel, 
nestled in the Abadair National Park in Kenya. Now let's shift our focus to Ethiopia, a nation that holds a unique place in the historical narrative of Africa. Ethiopia is the only African country that was never formally colonized by a European power. While Italy attempted to claim Ethiopia as a colony in the late 19th century, the resilient Ethiopians successfully resisted, maintaining their sovereignty. This makes Ethiopia a unique symbol of freedom and resilience on the African continent. Interestingly, the Ethiopian calendar also deviates from the widely accepted Gregorian calendar that most of the world follows. As it stands today, while we're in the year 2024, Ethiopians are living in the year 2016, according to their calendar. This is due to the Ethiopian Orthodox Church's adherence to the old Julian calendar, which is seven to eight years behind the Gregorian calendar. Lastly, let's touch on a piece of history that's a little more recent. South Sudan, after many years of conflict and a long struggle for independence, became the youngest country in Africa in July 2011. This marked a new chapter in the continent's history, as South Sudan became the 54th independent state of Africa. These historical facts provide a glimpse into the rich and varied history of Africa. Did you know that there are more churches in Lagos, Nigeria than in the entirety of Western Europe? That's right. The city is a bustling spiritual hub with a church on nearly every street corner, a testament to the deep-rooted faith of its inhabitants. Now, let's take a trip to Eswatini, formerly known as Swaziland. Here the king practices a rather unique matrimonial tradition. Each year he selects a new bride to join his growing family. This annual ritual is a part of the umlanga, or reed dance ceremony, a spectacle that showcases the rich cultural heritage of the Swazi people. Our cultural exploration wouldn't be complete without a mention of Cameroon. This country holds a unique distinction. It's the only nation in Africa that was colonized by not one, not two, but three European countries, Germany, France, and Britain. As a result, Cameroon is a melting pot of cultures, languages, and traditions. Both French and English are official languages here, making it the only African country where this is the case. Continuing our journey, we arrive in Ethiopia, a land that has its own unique way of tracking time. Believe it or not, according to the Ethiopian calendar, the year is currently 2014. This calendar is roughly seven years behind the Gregorian calendar used by much of the world, a cultural quirk that is a source of both confusion and fascination for visitors. Our final stop is Somalia, a nation that only recently welcomed the convenience of automated telemachines. That's right, the country's first ATM was installed in 2014, a significant leap forward in modern banking for the Somali people. These cultural facts offer a fascinating insight into the diverse cultures of Africa. From the church-filled streets of Lagos, to the yearly marriage traditions of Eswatini, the linguistic diversity of Cameroon, the unique calendar in Ethiopia, and the recent embrace of modern banking in Somalia, Africa's cultural landscape is as varied as it is captivating. Did you know that the Sahara Desert was a seafloor 10,000 years ago? It's hard to imagine that the world's largest hot desert was once underwater, isn't it? But it's just one of the many geographical wonders that Africa, the world's second largest continent, has to offer. Now, when you think of large expanses of land, you might think of the United States. However, did you know that the entire United States could fit into the Sahara Desert? That's right, the Sahara Desert is so vast it could easily accommodate all 50 states. Moving southwards from the Sahara Desert, we find Zambia, home to the biggest man-made lake in the world. The Kariba Dam, which straddles the border between Zambia and Zimbabwe, created Lake Kariba, a massive body of water that stretches over 220 kilometers in length. Further south, we find Malawi, home to Lake Malawi. What's special about this lake, you ask? Well, it's one of the freshest lakes in the world and has more fish species than any other lake on the planet. In East Africa, Uganda boasts of Lake Victoria, the largest lake in the region. This massive lake is shared between three countries, Uganda, Kenya, and Tanzania. Heading over to the Horn of Africa, we find Somalia, which has the longest coastline on the continent. This extensive coastline stretches over 3,000 kilometers, offering breathtaking views of the Indian Ocean. 
The geographical wonders of Africa don't end there. Ethiopia, for instance, has a unique calendar system. According to the Ethiopian calendar, the current year is 2014, seven years behind the Gregorian calendar that most of the world follows. These geographical facts reveal the astonishing natural wonders of Africa. From vast deserts and freshwater lakes to unique calendar systems and extensive coastlines, Africa is a continent that continues to surprise and amaze us with its diversity and uniqueness.